Hey guys, how you doing? This is like take 85 and if I don't get it right this time I'm giving up. <laughs> um, yeah, how, how you doing? Um, my, I just want to show you my slow exciter. Uh, it's 2000 turn, 10 turn primary, uh, IKEA top load, <laughs> IKEA utensil holder top load um, and my battery's running out so I have to be really quick. But yeah, so I'll run it on a 20 volts DC straight in. Um, it's running 10k, a uh, 2N6547 transistor. I don't think it's switched on because it just toasted my finger a minute ago when I spun it around. Uh, uh, a large, I, I have to try and not swear, a very large, <laughs> a large um, heat sink of an old LG plasma TV. Don't let me get rambling. Um, yeah, run it 10k, and I've got this lead running up here. Weird, let's pull some stuff out the way for you. Simple little setup with uh, a little board here, so obviously, this is running down to the coil. This is the amp drawer, obviously, in line here, so I've got an amp meter. And I'm not really massively interested in the drawer and etc., and the efficiency and blah blah blah, because none of my stuff's efficient anyway, so. We can stop there with that. Um, uh, yeah, 20 volts straight in. 20 volts, I don't know if you can read that. It's You never get these things in the video, so I'm not even going to try. 20 volts, 3.25 amps. It is pulling now, it's pulling what we got. One amp. 20 volts. Like I said, my battery's low. And you know, Top load's okay, pretty good. Let's get something like a welding rod and see what we can pull off the top. Something there, not huge, but let's drop some lights. So I'm supposed to be being quick, am I? Let's quickly kill some lights. This really is going to go in a sec. Okay. Let's do it this side. So we have a little bit of a top load. I think I'll prove the point on that. You'll see why I've said that in a second. Um, right, let's switch this over to the Bedini. So, out of here. I'm going to take the output at the bedini and chuck it in the back of the coil and then with this and stick it in the back same little sort of board instead I've got just a hard link across in there so I'm messing around okay and then you know a little tiny right a little oh these are really easy to make uh, MDF donut and I uh, drill some holes in the end, stick it on an hard drive, stick it, I literally, that's, that's, that's glue gunnery, that is, uh, stuck on there. 20 volts, spin her up, and then see the difference, and the audible difference, uh, I think is a massive thing, it surprised me considerably. Look at their craftsmanship. Not a single wobble. I reckon that's about 200 milliamps low. Let's not get into it. Okay. So, what are we pulling now? We're we pulling up, pushing. <laughs> 400 milliamps. That's really hard for you to see. So I can't even get a focus on it. Uh, that's two up the top, so that's 400. Uh, that's uh, uh, 500 there. 500 milliamps. And now, check this. This is. Way different. Yeah, let's put the uh, Wi Fi. Can you hear? It's actually arcing through the bottom of the air. Uh, so you can hear the top load is already. It's just, you know, it's, it's arcing a, a greater distance. And let's take those off. Turn up the smasher. 
And here we go. And I'll switch it up and see it. We'll have a quick look. Let's check. I didn't bother knocking the lights off for the uh, the when I didn't have the bedini in the loop. Okay, I'm just trying not to uh, get sparked off the uh, light. Okay, running a bit darker. Let's see if we can kill the lights. Actually, it's not too bad. Let's see what we got. I think when I short to the top load, um, it stops pulling. It's, there's no more hemp draw coming from the tester coil, so Bedini uh, finds it easier and speeds up. I guess. I guess I'm just applying logic. Like I'm just a beginner, you know, just mucking around. I uh, slow it down. Let's see if we can get it real slow. The, the arcing is much more reminiscent of um, the spark gap setup. Um, um, Mr. Caribbean Roots has his one set up. Um, and with a spark gap and, and his, what he pulls off the top load is so much more similar uh, way different to like uh, just running straight off the DC although there's no difference you know what I mean uh, you can tell on Anyway, I just thought you might find that a little bit more interesting than me just showing you how well my lights light up because really, you know, other than that, what, I can't go any further with it. And I was kind of dying the other day, kind of, well, what do I do now? What do I do? And uh, I hooked the bedini up to it and I was like, whoa, that is, that's different, you know, that is, that's, a, that's, that's something different to mess around with. Um, but yeah, because I, I didn't really want to go, go to this spark up situation. And, uh, and get it all set up because I'm not into the high voltage stuff at the moment. He says, well, messing around with this, I'm not really sure what the voltage is off the top of this. So I tell you what, I'm going to put my finger near this one. The others aren't so bad, you get a bit of a sort of a meltdown on your finger. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to mess around with this, you know, it just feels, feels like it's a bit more lively. Anyway, guys, uh, take care, thanks a lot. And hey, look, thanks to everyone who's, who's been helping me, Jeremy. Um, Jeremy Quilt, Mr. Cabby and Roots, uh, Bedini's, Crikey's, um, uh, God name dropping, who do I watch for Bedini's, um, oh God, Mr. Angus Wangus, uh, he's, he's, he's waiting to show us his big one, um, yeah, uh, uh, and so many others, oh, oh, uh, Panasonic Microwaves, uh, some will know what I'm talking about, God, if you can see that, uh, yeah, it's a guy that I was talking to, he'll know about that. Uh, take care guys, thanks a lot.